Good morning. So, today we are going to read, what are we going to read? The Princess and the Frog Rabbit. See? Here we are. It's called A Surprise Guest. It was a balmy after afternoon in New Orleans, perfect for a night with friends. Charlotte, honey, Big Daddy LaBeouf called to his daughter. How about going to Tiana's place for supper tonight? Oh, Daddy, that would be wonderful. Just give me a minute to change. A little later, Big Daddy and Charlotte drove off. They didn't realize their dog, Stella, was asleep in the back of the car. When the LaBeoufs arrived to the restaurant, a jazz band was on stage. Louis the Alligator was playing his trumpet. Charlotte, how are you? Princess Tiana exclaimed. She was happy to see her best friend. Big Daddy, would you like to sit with my mama and Naveen's parents? Why, I can't think of anyone better to share my supper with than Eudora and your in-laws, he replied. Soon, Tiana's family and friends were settled at a big table. The princess walked around the dining room to make sure all the other guests were happy, too. Meanwhile, Stella had woken up. The dog climbed out of the LaBeouf's car and looked around. Immediately, she caught the mouth-watering scent of Tiana's baguettes. Stella followed her nose right into the restaurant kitchen. Looky here, shouted one of the cooks. We have a visitor. Here you go, puppy. Have some of this gumbo. It's a new recipe. Stella eagerly tasted the dish. It was delicious. A moment later, the waiter threw her a large bone. The dog couldn't believe her luck. Stella spent the whole evening in the kitchen while Charlotte and Big Daddy dined to Louis's Lewis, jazz music and talked with their friends. Stella was getting all kinds of treats. A bone for me? Thank you. Later that night, after the jazz number had been played, all of the guests went home. Charlotte and Big Daddy never realized that Stella was also at the restaurant. Ta-ta, Charlotte, they called as they left. Eudora left with Naveen's parents. Turning to her daughter, she said, I have never heard the band play quite that well. And that new gumbo absolutely delicious. I'll see you tomorrow, sweetheart. After Princess Tiana walked her family to the door, she went back to the dining room to finish cleaning up. A few minutes later, Louis and the band went to the kitchen for their evening meal. As they walked in, Stella began to bark. Grrr, she was terrified of the giant alligator. Oh, now hold on, little dog, Louis spoke to Stella. I'm not here to eat you. I just want a taste of the chef's new gumbo. But Stella was frightened. She kept barking. The kitchen staff and the band members looked at each other. They weren't sure what to do. In the dining room, Tiana and Naveen heard the barking. They rushed to see what was causing the commotion. Tiana recognized the LaBeouf's pet at once. Stella, what are you doing here, she asked. Don't worry, Louis is our friend. He wouldn't hurt anybody. That's true, Naveen cried, putting her arm around Louis. He is nothing but a big guy with an even bigger heart, the alligator peeked out from behind his tail. He didn't understand why the dog was so upset. 
Stella looked at him suspiciously. Go ahead, Princess Tiana, encouraged the dog. Just go over and make friends. Stella doesn't really want to go make friends, I don't think. Cautiously, Stella walked towards Lewis. The alligator stayed very still. He didn't want to frighten the dog all over again. See? Nothing to be scared about, Naveen said. Soon, Stella realized Lewis was harmless. The dog wagged her tail. Then she smelled some delicious chicken. Tiana smiled. Let's get dinner for, for you all. The princess and the kitchen staff quickly put together a supper out of that evening's leftovers. Boy, Stella is eating like a little queen dog, huh? Everyone went into the dining room. The staff ate while Prince Naveen played the ukulele. Lewis picked up his trumpet and joined in the song. Some of the waiters and the waitresses began to dance. Stella didn't pay much attention, though. She was eating some, some of Tiana's baguettes. A while later, the staff headed home. Tomorrow would be another day at Tiana's palace. Come along, Stella, Tiana told the dog. Time for you to go, too. The prince and princess brought Stella to Charlotte's house. No one had noticed that she was missing yet. Good night, Stella, Princess Tiana said, giving the dog a big hug. Now that you know how much fun we have at the restaurant, you should come by more often. Woof, woof, Stella barked. She hadn't expected to have such an adventure that night. She knew she'd return to Tiana's place the next chance she got. Well, that was quite an adventure for a dog, huh? I hope that you enjoyed our story. I will talk to you later. I love you. Be good and make wise decisions. Mwah.